Hey Gemini, welcome to Divine Family Tarot. My name is Jenny. I'll be doing your reading today. I'm going to be reading the energy between you and your person or you and the person on your mind. You and, your, and the person on your mind the most, I should say. The energy between you and them. You get psychic strength. I'll read that for you at the end of the video. Ooh, I'll put that here. Alrighty, Gemini, just uh, heads up. These are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book that with me. Take what resonates, leave the rest of mine. Don't force anything to make sense. If it doesn't, it just does it. Um, I do have a playlist with other readings. If you're interested in that. All my readings are timeless. You know what? These both came out, so I'm going to take it that way. What you don't see coming is some kind of a soulmate connection, some kind of love here somehow in this like crappy energy you're in, Gemini. <laughs> All right. Um, you could be overthinking a lot right now about things. Um, definitely in your head about someone here. Um, they're being represented as the sun. So you could possibly be seeing this person as someone that is very happy at the moment versus you who is not happy. So something like that. Um, the energy between you guys is a six of cups. There's a lot of memories here. This could be a soulmate. Um, definitely. Um, a lot of history here you could you could even know this person since childhood you could have kids with this person you know take it how it resonates but the block is a knight of swords someone here is not consistent there's a stressed energy there's um There's action here, but it could be coming out of stress. I don't feel it's coming out of anything else. So we'll see what that is. Your intention here is for something to transform, something to change. Their intention, I don't see any action on their part. They could be healing. They could be going through their own thing. I don't know if they have intention here on doing anything. Um... I don't see you taking any action towards them. I see you actually not speaking to them. With the hangman and the 
four of cups it's like you know you might be disappointed in the way things happen but you are looking at it positively you're looking at the you know you're not try you're trying not to be upset um at certain things here but i do see a break in communication uh this person's actions towards you is the knight of wands that could get them to come in probably with a sexual offer um knight of wands is somebody who's sexually like you know charged that's the way i see it not all the time but i do hear um your kind of disconnection from this might get them to want to reappear in your life but be careful because the knight of wands is a flighty energy it is in and out um yeah because for the outcome you get the seven of swords which is somebody who is you know liar cheater stealer somebody who just you know is worried about themselves and that's kind of like the knight of wands like the bad side of the knight of wands you know okay let's see let's clarify why is gemini in the nine of swords energy You might really want to have a new start with this person, but they could be quite stubborn. And um, I see you wanting a new start here, but it's taking a while, like for this person to kind of put their guard down a little bit. So I see you worried about the timing of it, like it taking forever for this for this person to kind of open up or something like that or to come around with this new offer it's almost you're it's it's also like you're waiting for it and you're kind of like wow this is taking forever because i don't see you taking action towards it i see you waiting for it so whatever that means to you you see the sun for this person's energy I'm dead. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That is this person, you know? That's this person. All right. They're not speaking to you at the moment, but they want to. Um, they watch your social media if you have any. I, I believe that uh, if you have any social media platform, this person's all over it. <laughs> it's funny. Um, they definitely, you know, they definitely keep their eye on you somehow. They're very attracted to you. If you've ever sent this person any naughty pictures, they definitely look at those. I'm just saying, because I can tell. Um... However, uh, be careful with that energy because they are probably going to come back around in a manipulative energy. It's, it's kind of pointing that out, too. Let me clarify the Six of Cups. No, let me clarify the Death card. I see you not taking action again, intending on, um, it, this is an energy of, I'm not going to do anything to try to do something about this. You know, like this is going to change things here. My inaction is going to change things here. So that tells me that you're the type of person, Gemini, that is usually in charge. You know, you kind of take action in certain situations. 
but this time you're deciding not to. You're deciding to just hang back and see what happens if you hang back. You know, like, is this person going to come forward? Because I feel like you do want something brand new with them. But you, you're waiting for them to initiate that. So that just tells me that you've initiated in the past and it hasn't worked. This person definitely wants to talk to you. I feel like they want to see you. Um, they're not really sure how to approach you. Um, they don't know how to come forward and talk to you. I feel like they miss you because there's a disconnection here. I keep seeing you not talking to this person. You're not moving towards this person. Like there's being space here. This person's not talking to you. You know what I mean? So, this person does miss you. They do. They think about you. Um, yeah. Trying to figure out a way to come towards you. Not sure how to start that communication is what I'm feeling. They think about you a lot at night. Let me clarify the hangman and four cups, three cards. Yeah, you're waiting because you're usually the chaser. And you're not chasing anymore. Basically. You're also, you, I'm, I'm seeing you having a lot of emotions for this person and this person, you know, you're very attracted to them, but them not really looking at your emotions that way, like trying not to notice the emotional part of, of you almost. It could come off as being non-emotional, but I don't know. That's just for some of you. But it's like you used to be the one chasing and you're not chasing anymore. Mm -mm. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. That is your action. Your inaction is I'm not chasing nobody no more. Dang, Gemini. Okay. You want something here, but you're going to wait for it to come in when it's ready, when it's time, when, you know... The time is right because you're not chasing it anymore. That's way too many. Let me clarify the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I see that the more you take care of yourself, it draws in this person. So you're going to receive communication from this person you know, so you hang back. You go ahead and do that. Work on your healing. This person is going to reach out. I do see communication coming from this person. Like I said, be careful with the Knight of Wands energy. It could be sexual. It could be mainly sexual. With Knight of Wands and Eight of Wands as the communication towards you. I say be careful like. I mean, if that's what you want, that's what you want. But if that's not what you want, you know. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords. This person may have the tendency of 
starting something and then kind of just hanging back and not doing anything or overthinking a situation or just taking their sweet time. There's something here about that being a little bit like they're doing that on purpose. Something like that. You could be friends with this person. I'm seeing a friendship here. You could be friends with this person or met this person at work or know this person from work. But I'm seeing like if they have intention of coming in, it's like slow or almost like misleading because they don't take action. They might talk about it, but they're not doing anything either. They're not doing anything either. So that's the reading I see there. That's what you get. So let me read Psychic Strength for you. I'm sorry that that's what you get, but that's what it shows. Like you can't, you can't change other people, you know? There are many ways to strengthen your spiritual energy. Find a way that works for you. You may like to use a Hamza or make a talisman. For a quick and easy way to shield yourself, ground your energy, take a few deep breaths, and imagine a golden bubble of healing light around you. Once you can see yourself inside the golden bubble, ask the universe to protect you. Shield yourself with love and positivity and extend that protection to your loved ones as well. Well, Gemini, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, share, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you here again next week. Thanks. Bye.